Today is Safer Internet Day. Safer Internet Day is celebrated across the globe in over 170 countries, with thousands of children joining in across the UK. It's a day when we celebrate all the great things about being online and remind ourselves how we can stay safe. This year for Safer Internet Day, we're looking at two things, having fun online, like playing your favourite games or watching your favourite shows, and how you behave with other people online. Firstly, let's have a quick think about what we mean by the word online. Can anyone give the teacher another word for what online means? You're absolutely right. Going online means using the internet. There are so many things you can do online and the internet can help to make it to make things easier. This slide shows us just a few of the amazing things that you can do online or that you might see people in your family doing at home. You might use the internet to chat or video call family and friends that you've not seen for a while. You might watch TV shows or movies or listen to music online. You can find out what's happening in the news or use it or use the internet to find out new things. You or your family might share photos or videos if you have a talent for something, or one of the things you might do is play, on, play games online. Can you give your teacher a hands up if you like playing games online, or if anyone else in your house does? Fantastic. I'm going to give you one minute to have a chat with a friend next to you to let them know what to your favourite games are and why you like them so much. Tell your teacher your favourite games. Go. Wow, it sounds like playing games is a really popular and fun thing to do. Now I'd love to know how you play your games. Look at the screen and for each one, give your teacher a thumbs up if you've ever used that kind of thing or technology to play a game. Phone? Laptop, tablet, computer, console. There are so many ways you can play games online, aren't there? Now, I mentioned that games were just one of the things we were going to be looking at today. The other thing was how you act or behave towards other people online. So, I've got a question on the screen here for you to have a think about by yourself for a moment. How should you behave online? Who thinks they can answer this question? That's absolutely correct. Next question, why is it important to be kind online? Who thinks they can answer this question? That's absolutely correct. Should you behave the same way online that you do offline and why? Who thinks they can answer this question? That's absolutely correct.
Last question. If you're online and no one knows who you are, can you behave however you want? Who thinks they can answer this question? That's absolutely correct. Whatever you're doing online, whether it's playing games or anything else, it's so important to think about the feelings of others. In the same way we all try to be kind offline, we should also do this when we're online. We will never read you a story about a duck called Digiduck who loves to use the internet. If you've heard of Digiduck, before, this is the newest story in the series. It's called Digi Duck and the Magic Castle, and it's all about playing games online.